The package leaflet of the Medigen COVID vaccine was released last week, and it left some key questions unanswered. For one, it does not state the duration of protection provided by the Medigen vaccine. Speaking about the missing information, a Taipei doctor fills us in. Taiwan starts administering the Medigen vaccine next Monday. Ahead of the rollout, concerns have been raised over the vaccine's Chinese language package leaflet. The statement doesn't say how long protection lasts, as the vaccine still has yet to complete phase three trial. It also says that among adults 65 and older, people with comorbidities and people with HIV, Medigen induces a weaker antibody response. But these groups also happen to be priority targets for vaccination. If you're someone very advanced in age and have a weak immune system, your antibody response to the vaccine will absolutely be weaker than that of a younger, healthier adult. You'll have a lower antibody level and less protection. That's the way it is across the board, not just with Medigen. This problem is probably seen with all vaccines on the market today. Physician Huang Limin emphasized that although Medigen is authorized for emergency use, it still lacks phase three trial data. He said the manufacturer should file supporting documentation on its candidate's efficacy as soon as it can. It doesn't have results from a phase three trial, so the package leaflet can't make statements about protective efficacy. I hope that within the next year, Medigen will be able to provide more data, like how young adults or older adults react after vaccination, numbers on the protective efficacy of the vaccine. As of Monday afternoon, nearly half of the 605,000 eligible people on Medigen's wait list have booked a time for vaccination. By the end of August, an estimated 10 million COVID vaccine doses will have been administered across Taiwan. So far, nearly 13 million people have used the vaccine registration system. Four million people on the wait list, one Moderna and nothing else. On Tuesday, Huang urged holdouts to reconsider. Who knows? Maybe the Pfizer vaccines will arrive. We could end up having more of that. After all, three private organizations are preparing a donation. But the best course of action is to go with the vaccines currently available. If the vaccine is proven effective to a degree and it's verified internationally, then go get it. According to the CECC, only about 600,000 more people can expect to receive a first dose of Moderna in the near future. The rest of the supply will be used as a second dose for older adults and high-risk groups. For everybody else, getting Moderna could entail a long wait.